Let's light up the night with the Pumpkin Luminary Project from blogger Carissa Bonham that's perfect for fall decorating. Isn't this cute? There are just a few different items that you'll need to get started. What you want is a small glass jar with a lid, like a baby food jar. You'll also need some tissue, or you can use a napkin for decoupaging. You'll need a chenille stem, paintbrush, and a battery-operated little candle works really well for a project like this. We'll also need some glue spots and clear glue and a black marker that works on glass. So to get started, what you'll do is tear up some little pieces of napkin and cut some strips and squares of tissue paper. And then begin by pouring some glue onto your plate. You'll take your sponge brush and brush some glue onto the jar. And just spread it a little bit you know, around the sides down to the edge, and then use your brush to pick up a piece of the napkin, or you can lay it on with your fingers, either one, and then add some more glue over the top. So brush that down, and you can add some more, and just start making a layered up jar. This is going to be a nice looking, kind of like a little bit of a stained glass effect, and you don't need to worry about if it wrinkles, just add some more color in those places where it's folded over. So like that, and just keep working your way around the jar. And then you can do the same effect on the lid, where you just add some glue all over the surface of the lid, and then add some tissue. And here, we're, it's going to be really important to fold the edges down and make sure that you get those all glued down. And add some more glue, and then cover up the sides too so that you get your paper all over the sides and the top of the lid. If you get a little bit of extra like that, you can just fold it back, press it into place, and you can cover up any little holes by creasing the tissue paper over the lid. Okay, now let, once those are all dry, then you're ready to make a face on your jar. And to do that, make sure that you've primed your paint pen and are ready to go. And then if you wanted to make your design with a pencil first, you can do that. Or you can just start by making a jack-o'-lantern face. It's usually a triangle, but you can get a little more whimsical if you want to. And draw your triangles onto the jar. Like I mentioned, you want to use a permanent paint marker that works for glass, because it works on slick surfaces. Then you can make your mouth. and that. There we go. And then I'll just make mine have a big grin. Then fill in the mouth like that. It's also fun to make some little teeth or do something like that in the middle if you want to. Now you're going to let that dry. And then once it's dry, you can add to the lid. And an easy way to do that is to just use a little glue spot. So once your lid is already attached, Take your chenille stem and wind it around a pencil, or you can use a paintbrush handle. Anything that gives you that curly Q effect. Just coil it up there. And then bend the end in so that you have a flat spot right on the bottom of your stem. And then press that onto your glue spot to pick it up. And then fold it all, kind of scrunch it together so that you make a little pile of glue there and then attach it to the middle of your lid. And this is a super simple little jar. You're ready to put your candle inside. You can go ahead and turn it on. You could use this as a luminary, or you could use it for other holidays, too. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to write down all your creative ideas. Visit our website for lots of other projects.